And what's going on, on YouTube? Hey, good shout out to Mason. Nice talking to you, Mason. All right, let's talk about winter here. It's here, and it's finally here up in the uh, Midwest. And uh, what you want to make sure is you want to make sure you're draining your air tanks, get that condensation out of there. Uh, because if you get some ice in your line, that can wreak havoc on your on your brake system. You know, it could go in, it could stick a valve open. You know, you push on the brakes, and uh, it could keep the pressure applied because you know it's blocking uh, you know the, the release hole and stuff like that. So uh, make sure you, you keep the condensation out of your lines. And let's talk about frozen brakes. You know, you'll get frozen brakes. Uh, you got to get out there. You know, beat on the drums with a hammer and stuff. Try to you know break it loose. Uh, and the reason why you get it is because you know if you're going down the road and it's been salted, and you know you get that spray up in there, and if you don't ride those brakes a little bit before you stop and heat them up in there and dry that out, what do you think is going to happen? You stop and set them brakes. That water is going to go in there and it's going to instantly freeze those brakes. So they're not going to release and you're going to be dragging tires. Is let's go to that part. Uh, if you hook up to a trailer and you're getting ready to leave and it's snow covered, I mean, you can drag the wheels and uh, you're not really going to know it, you know, if, uh, because it's going to be slippery. So do an S maneuver when you come out, you know, turn and go like that, and look in your mirrors, and make sure all your wheels are rolling. If you see some wheels aren't rolling, stop immediately, you know, get out there and, uh, and unfree those brakes. So, uh, you know, you can do that. That'll save you some time. And uh, let's let's take a look at the airlines. Now, if you run up here in the cold, you know, most all the trucks come with the uh, plastic airlines. You know, the red and blue airlines right in the back. Well, if you can, have yourself some rubber ones made and replace them with rubber airlines because that way they're not going to break and get brittle on you over time. Uh, I had a buddy of mine just call me a day, said his blue airline broke right in half. You know, he... He unhooked from a trailer, went to rehook it, and pulled on it, and it come right apart, right in half. It was brittle. So the older they get, the more that can happen to you. If you have a rubber airline, it's not going to do that in the winter, right? So you know, switch those out if you can. You know, that'll save you uh, some stuff. And get those heated wiper blades. Everybody knows I have them. Uh, when it was really snowing and icing up, I wasn't out there flicking my wipers. I just turned them on, and it melted everything. And uh, it didn't have that problem. You don't have that problem going on the road. You can see keeps your windows nice and clean because when that snow hits it, it melts and turns to water, and, and you don't have to use no fluid because you got that constant flow. All right, so we touched on some of them brakes and that, and then uh, always make sure you know you got some candles or some type of stuff in your truck, a little can of sternos or something to uh, stay warm in case uh, you know your truck breaks down or. Uh, your bunk heater stops working and you know things like that and let's talk about gel gelled fuel when it gets down below 20 you know put some of that anti-gel in there and uh, what you want to do is when you put that in there make sure you run your bunk heater for quite a long time so that get has time to work up in there and get into that little filter because if you don't it might be in your tanks but when you turn that bunk heater on it might not fire up because it's gelled up because the line's so thin and that filter so small it doesn't take much to uh, freeze that so you know put that in there and run that bunk heater for you know a few hours or so to let let, we'll let that work in there that anti-gel stuff plus it lubricates your engine with this ultra low sulfur diesel gives you a little more lubricity all right so you know if you, if you have ice cleats wear them you know when you get out on these icy surfaces you know you better be safe than sorry and uh, you know, everybody, you, you know, you're the captain of your own ship. So if you're out there and you don't think it's safe and the roadways are getting bad, you know, pull it over, you know. Uh, deliver the freight when it's safe to do so. You know, nothing's more important than your life and, uh, and arriving there safely. So we'll end it right there at about the five-minute mark. Uh, everybody have a, a good week. Everybody be safe out there. And I uh, got some more videos coming. Yeah, I got a cooking video coming too, so we'll get those out there. But, uh, you know, if you want some uh, questions or anything about, you know, where I'm at, you know, just shoot me an email at the bottom. And, 
you know, I'll shoot you my phone number and I can give you some information about that. All right, so we'll talk to y'all later. See ya.